We are Tottenham TV here for the match preview for Man United on Sunday here outside White Hart Lane. Uh, but we all know this game is only about one thing. It's going to be emotional, isn't it? It's going to be a, it's going to be a very emotional game on uh, on Sunday. You know, we've been in the ground since 1899. Uh, it's been a, it's been a long time since uh, we've been a long time at the ground. It's like uh, our second home away from our actual home. You know what yeah. I mean? It's like we've had some proper amazing days here. What was the first game you went to here? The first game I went to is in 1998. We yeah. played uh, Southampton at home. Obviously at home. Uh, yeah. <laughs> in the, the last game of the season. It was yeah. actually Gary Mabbitt's last game. Klinsman's last game of football. Wow. Um, I, remember, I remember my dad telling me that... Um, I spent all game reading a comic book because I just wasn't <laughs> interested at all. I was about I was about seven or eight at the time. Um, didn't really get into football till a bit later, but that was my first game. How about you? My first game was uh, '96. We played City here. We won one nil, and uh, the old uh, Chrissy Armstrong scored to <laughs> so start off on winning ways. So wasn't the greatest team back then, like no. if you compare it to now and whatever. But once I saw that pitch walking up those stairs, yeah, wow, coming out, that come was when it for me. Pitch comes out in front of you. It's just a sight to behold when you first that come. That was it for me. That was it. Uh, well, you know, see, we've been we've been going, you know, for how, how many years now? Oh, I've been going for about twenty odd years, literally. Yeah. Ninety six was my first game. Yeah, so such a long time. What would you say your uh, favourite game was uh, at the lane? It's a big one, like. I remember when we when we first beat Chelsea that 2-1 when uh, Lennon and Dawson scored. Yeah. That was like the first time we beat Chelsea. I don't know how many years it was. Mm -hmm. And someone came up to me in the uh, in the train station after the game on his knees, cry literally tears pouring down <laughs> his eyes going, "I haven't seen us beat Chelsea in 20 years or however long it was." And just that captured the moment of the whole day because the lane was absolutely rocking that day. Yeah. Uh, and that and kind of when we beat Arsenal the first time as well in a long time we beat them 5-1 in the cup yeah that was that was amazing and our champions league night yeah uh, it wasn't our first champions league but when we beat into milan 3-1 gareth yeah. but a taxi for mycon and all <laughs> yeah. that just class nights, Some class nights yeah. while lane. uh well i was there when um we beat chelsea 5-3 that, yeah. was, that was that was I thought you know obviously eventual champions that season that was the birth of Harry Kane really was, seeing yeah. a, seeing a star fulfill his full potential. I think, it was. I think that game was kind of like um, the first game we actually realised Pochettino's potential. Yeah, exactly. We had. Well, it wasn't only that. It was also I remember I remember going into that game. Um, there was one player I really didn't want in the starting lineup that day, and that was Danny Rose. And <laughs> I remember Danny I was like, "Please, Danny Rose, don't play. Let's play Davis." And he played Danny Rose that day, and he was absolutely unbelievable. And that was really for me. It was not only the birth of Harry Kane. That was really the birth of Danny Rose as well. I think he really came to the fore in that game, and and to wipe the floor. What, what we did with the champions of, of that year really showed what Puccino was all about. And that was really when we first saw how how we how that pressing could work, and because Chelsea were just blowing everyone away at that yeah. point. And we did them with uh, Ben Tleb and Mason in the middle as well. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, that really, I mean, and we knew and Fazio at the back, <laughs> and we know and we knew after that game yeah. what, what what could really be the Puccino effect. I was also there. Um, in 2010 when Danny Rose scored that amazing volley I was right behind that goal yeah. um, you know the corner corner comes out and just what a what a for 35 yards oh, out <laughs> unbelievable who knew what you know how he would turn out wow. after after that goal he actually started to right right wing that game he and, went off at half and he went off half time because he was actually having a really poor game yeah. there's been some um, you there's know, been some ups and downs. Let's, let's, let's not let's, forget about the let's, downs. Let's not forget about the downs. I was there. I was there when um, we were three and up at half time against Man City. Joey Barton gets sent off at half time, and we ha somehow end up losing four three in that game. And just I, what I remember just when John Macken scored that goal. Wow, that was one of the lowest points of being a Spurs fan. I couldn't go into school that day. <laughs> Everyone was laughing at me. I couldn't. You know. I remember school the next day that day. Like, and I remember the night of the game. I can't remember what I did, but, but dad punished me. He said, uh, no, nah, you're not going to this game. He gave my ticket away. And afterwards, when he got back, I said to him, thank you. Thank you so <laughs> much for banning me from not going to that game. <laughs> well, what would Jackson, your uh, hardest moment was at Wildlands? <laughs> There's been so many. <laughs> I don't know. Every time we lose to Arsenal, it's hard to take yeah. at the lane. I, I remember that time when um, Fabregas or Adebayor scored that worldie. Yeah. When he kicked it up and twisted, oh, that was a pretty low that point. That was 3-1, yeah, yeah. Um, when Arsenal won the league at White Hart Lane, I yeah, was there. Yeah, we were both there, we were both there. That, that, was, that was pretty tough. 
to be honest, yeah, we, we got it back to tour in the last minute and we and were we, celebrating. Yeah, yeah, I had no idea that they had won the league, I'm not too honest, when we of that. I thought we, you know, we got a great point with battling relegation. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, I see all the, all, you know, they bring out fake Premier League yeah. trophies on the belt. Like, oh, crap. Yeah, <laughs> that yeah. was hard to take. Um, so, yeah, there have been many ups and downs. This, uh, this uh, you know, unbelievable ground. We're really going to miss it. We've seen some unbelievable goals. I've mentioned, you know, Danny Rose. Yeah. What would say your favourite goal you've ever seen over here? Oof, in the I've seen so many great goals here. Um, <sighs> I really don't know. I'd have to pick bet me a David Jindler goal. He scored so many great goals. Like, David Jindler was my, was my idol growing up. Mm -hmm. um, I would say he was probably... I really can't think of what my best goal is. Okay. Gareth Bell, he scored so many great goals. Yeah, so many good ones. Canute scored some great goals. Teddy scored some great goals. Robbie scored some great yeah, goals. So, so, Jermaine I'd, scored some great goals. I'd say for me, um, my favourite player when I was growing up was Robbie Keane. He was, you know, we signed him from Leeds in like 2002 and he always played with a smile on his face. He was so creative. He, he had always, that passion, didn't he? Had, he? Exactly, he had that Irish passion. passion. He was never the quickest, but he always, he always relied on his speed of thought and he was so quick, he was so quick and how he thinks and how he analyzes the situation. And he was a really great finisher. I remember um, one great goal I remember from him was against Blackburn at home. Oh, when he put it over two players. Hey? Yeah, I remember throwing comes in from the touchline and he's got, his back, he's got his back. I think Michael Gray is coming in behind him and he looks over his shoulder. He does a little flick over, over his head. Take, takes it takes a turn he sees Robbie Savage coming the other way and he, and he, and he takes he takes another flick over over Robbie Savage's head and then with his left foot on the volley <laughs> puts it in the far corner past you know former Spurs keeper Brad Friedel yeah. and what well, I, I remember after that game I absolutely fell in love with Robbie Keane uh -huh. And that was in like 2006. I um, growing up, you were kind of like Robbie Keane and I was kind of like Jermaine Defoe. Yeah, exactly. You know? like, that, that was Jermaine was my favourite player. And obviously we've seen so many, it was like Robbie Keane's partnership with Berbatov and he always had a great partnership with whoever he partnered with except for Defoe, unfortunately. We're, we're all bitter about the way Berbatov left, but at the end of the day, those two years he spent here, yeah, was, magic. He was unbelievable. Absolute magic. There have been so many great players that we've seen. Obviously, <laughs> I, I was only born in 92, you born in... 89, but yeah. you know, there's so many great strikers that have, that have played. Klinsman. Uh, I, 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 yeah, I saw Klinsman's last ever goal. Yeah. Football. Uh, you know, obviously we said Berbatov, there's, there was, um, we saw Bale so many times <sighs> here. Double How many Jimmy. times did Bale just get us out of the shit, you know, nil-nil? Mm -hmm. That season, you know, when he did against Southampton, Sunderland, that was those two games in a row, but that season he took us out of it so many times. And with fantastic goals from like 30, 35 yards. Who would you say is uh, the worst player you've ever seen play? <laughs> the first one that comes to mind, I think, is, um, is Raziak. Raziak? Oh <laughs> How do you remember him? <laughs> Raziak. I remember once Raziak, we were playing an away day. Um, it, was, it was against Fulham. And he was so bad that our fans started seeing 10 men. We've only got 10 men. And that's how bad Raziak was. What about Postiga? Held a Postiga. Wow, we've had some real duds. I remember um, Gilberto was a, oh, oh we yeah. signed, I remember we, we I was all, so excited when we signed yeah, him. Yeah, it was a Brazilian World Cup left back, like, oh, <laughs> what a player we have. And he was absolute rubbish. I remember against PSV, I think I, I was there for that game. And yeah. we, we lost one nil at home. He like passes the ball to Jefferson Farfan, and he goes, <laughs> goes and scores, he end up going out of Europe. Um, so many memories of, of this of the stadium, you know. It's, it's going to be really hard to say goodbye, but we, we're going to be at Wembley next season. We're going to have a new ground. We're going to be, you know, same place. We're not moving location like, you know, who. Mm. We're not going. We're not going to be moving. Uh, we're not getting a uh, public funded. Uh, exactly. I won't <laughs> say the next word. <laughs> <laughs> Lifeless something. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so it's going to. You know, it's going to be a great football stadium. Hopefully, that we're going to be moving into. It's going to be a really hard goodbye this this uh, this this weekend. But I'm really not looking forward to saying to leaving this place. But hopefully, place. it's going to be a really big party on Sunday. It's going to be a celebration of all the years. You know, we've we've had such so many great sides here. The double winning side we've had play here. The great side of the 80s. We won the UEFA Cup twice and the the, uh, the FA Cup many times. You know, Paul Gascoigne, Gary yeah. Lineker. Wow. Teddy Sharing, there's just unbelievable players who have Glenn Hoddle who have graced this. Glenn Hoddle. Wow. Graham Roberts, Steve Mickey Hammer, Hazard. Mickey, Mickey Hazard, Mickey <laughs> Hazard, definitely Mickey Hazard. Um, so many amazing players have graced the stadium and then there's so much history. If these walls could talk, what they exactly, would say. Exactly, exactly. So oh, getting a bit emotional just talking yeah. about it now. 
but there's actually a football game to be played, yeah, <laughs> you know, well. beyond all things, we need one point to guarantee second place. Um, uh, any any team news? Danny Rose, anything? Oh, we don't know yet, but hopefully Danny Rose will be back. Obviously, we've been saying that since January. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm not going to get my hopes up. Ben Davis has been good. Uh, hopefully, Danny Rose can see out the season, have a good you know send off for Wahoo Lane. Um, What's Man, Man United? You know, they've got a big injury problems. United, and they've got a Europa League to uh, you know, think about as well. Yeah, tonight they're playing in the semi-finals, so hopefully if they make it to the final, it's probably going to be a whole raft of changes yeah. um, to their side. So I'm not expecting a strong side, P pretty similar to the side that played Arsenal. Um, what are you going for, like uh, in a scoreline type of thing? Um, well, you, know, you you can never be too confident when you're playing Mourinho. He, if anyone likes to ruin a party it's Jose um, so you always got to be wary of being Mourinho'd so it's probably going to be a tight game I'm, I'm, I'm not I'd be surprised there's more of a in it more than a goal in it but um, Look, you can't it, that's like Mourinho yeah you'll be surprised if there's more than a goal in it but because it's the last game of the lane yeah, I'm, you would like to, yeah. I'm going for a classic classic Spurs go like maybe 2-0 down or something and come back <laughs> and you know it reminds me of that uh, 125th uh, year party we yeah, had is you there know, any when, game more, more Spurs exactly you go 4-1 down bring it back to 4 or Eunice Kabul yeah we were both there for that game yeah. as well Kabul in the last <laughs> minute oh, wow save Martin Yelwood's job um, One of actually the, thinking about it now, the low points of of this stadium was when we sacked Martin Yole at that Gattafi game. Yeah, that, that, was, was, <laughs> that was really bad. Half time. Yeah, <laughs> everyone knew, and uh, you could remember. I remember that game. Everyone was chanting his name. Yeah, and he, you could just see that that tear in his eye. I love that man. Yeah, and I hope to see him back on Sunday. I think he's going to be I here. I think he'll be back. Be, I think there's you know Harry Rennout's going to be here. Uh, uh, Terry Venables. Fail. <laughs> Gareth, we, we want to see Gareth. We know back. Modric won't be here because he's uh, he's fit and ready for the Real Madrid season. Yeah. But Bale's injured. Yeah, so, so no excuse, no excuse, Gareth. <laughs> you get back here for the lane. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's going to be emotional on Sunday. Mm. Got, obviously, we want to because these these games are so important because they go down in history. You know, as our last game while exactly. we really want to really want to give the lane a proper send off. We really want to end end the lane with three points. Really, 100%. give the lane. Something give give uh, the lane a real send off. So obviously big game. Man United doesn't. Uh, we'll ask him on her lane. We're all going to be pumped up. The atmosphere is uh, going to be gonna rocking. Be there. There's going to be hundreds of hundred thousand years here. Apparently, exactly. On, uh, the, Sunday. Apparently all these years are going to be here without a ticket. And looking looking for some... the pubs are going to be rammed. The streets are going to be rammed. There'll be drinks flowing. Beer will be flowing. Exactly. So hopefully we'll be there on Sunday. Hope to see you lot there. I think I've been here, apart from my home, I think I've been here more times than anywhere else in the world. <laughs> it's the second home to all of us, yeah. you know, but we go on to pastures new. Subscribe, like, comment, see you Sunday. Come, Come on, on you Spurs! Spurs.